Hi there, this is Mark Schauder with Sotheby's International Realty with another episode of Poway Today. Today I'm here with Southern California Ballet. Welcome guys. Thank you. Want to introduce yourselves? I'm Martha Liebel, co-artistic director of Southern California Ballet. And I'm Toby Batley, also co-artistic director of Southern California Ballet. Welcome guys. Why don't you tell us a little bit about the, what you do here? So I'll go. So okay. Southern California <laughs> Ballet is a non-profit ballet academy in Carmel Mountain. Um, and our main job is to teach ballet, basically, and to all different kinds of people, ranging from um, three-year-old little kids up to adults, all the way up to, yeah, like what age? Oh, we have 60-year-old ballet students. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And um, through to adults with special needs and... Um, yeah, our main focus is um, ages three till the girls and boys um, graduate high school. Okay, so, so 17, 18. Right. Okay. And why did you guys get into this profession? So I grew up here. This okay. is my studio, which I trained in, and um, and I graduated high school from RB High. Okay. Um, then I went to England and joined a company called Northern Ballet. And mm -hmm. 15 years I was there, where I met my husband. Okay. We danced together professionally for that time, for a long time. I don't know how long we danced together Maybe for. Like we were seven or eight together. years. Um, and then it seemed like the natural move to mm -hmm. come back. Um, the founding director, Sylvia Palmer Zettler, she was um, wanting to step back and just teach a bit more. Um, so we came and it seemed like the perfect fit really for me to be able to come back home and um, pass on the knowledge of, that I learned in the, okay. in the professional world. Uh -huh. Okay, and what motivates you guys each day? Because as you told me, you get lots of kids running through here every day. I think probably one of the things that motivates me is teaching the thing that we love to other people and seeing how big of an effect, like how big of a positive effect it has on their lives. Um, like it really is incredible to see how amazing dance can be for people and they don't realize how, how great it is for you, not just physically, but mentally and emotionally. Um, it's a real, amazing thing to do and, and especially for these kids like the, the teenagers you know um, this place is like a home away from home from the, for them so it's, it's also like a huge family SCB Southern California Valley so mm -hmm. that's really rewarding as well to see everybody be involved um, because it is a non-profit and so for example you'll have a, a, a kid who's dancing here but then their whole family will be involved volunteering in different ways like backstage sewing costumes um, laying flooring, building <laughs> so, set. So, so it's a family affair. Yeah, yeah. it really yeah. is. Like so it's not just one kid, but the entire family gets yeah. drawn in if they want to. And the positive effect that this place can have on a whole family, not uh -huh. just the dancers. It's really amazing. It's amazing when you see um, somebody achieve something mm -hmm. that they didn't think was possible. So for me, the best part is, um, so we work and, and it's hard, you know, ballet's hard and mm -hmm. it's not always fun. People think it's just running around and it's not. Mm -hmm. It's really athletic. There's tears, there's, you know, there's everything. And there's not nice times, but as soon as those guys get on the stage and they perform, it's just amazing. And the joy and um, the sense of accomplishment that they have after they've worked so hard to do a particular role or mm -hmm. to make something happen um, yeah, it's great. So you're managing this nonprofit every day. What has surprised you about it? About running the, you know, you might say a business. The, everything. The, yeah, amount, everything. The, amount <laughs> the amount of work. The amount of work. 24 seven? Yeah. Like sometimes I'll, I mean, recently, like we've just had a, a pile of work to do because it's the beginning of the year, there's new season registration, like all the new kids coming in and then last year's kids re-registering re and we're constantly getting ready for the next thing. Like. It, I said the other day, it's like one of those serpents from Greek mythology where you cut off one head and like three grow back. <laughs> it seems like that sometimes. There's always something to improve upon. There's always something to do. And that's mm -hmm. very different from when you're dancing, um, you're getting, you're geared up for a show, then that show is complete and you move on to the next show. Even if you have two shows running at the same time, you're still, it, 
you know, you're working towards it and then you accomplish it and then you keep going here. It's mm -hmm. like there's a, there's this constant hamster wheel that then it's the next year and the next year. And it's, so it just they, keeps they going. All, they all blend together after, yeah. after a period of time. Yeah, because we're not a big enough organization to have like a HR department and a finance department and all those other departments that people have in these big organizations, we are that. Like just Mark and myself, Melissa, and, and Kate, like there's just the four of us. There's just and the you, three you, of us full time. So and you guys, you all wear the, the app. Yeah, right. mm -hmm. all of it, so it's crazy. So what is it that the families love about, about the studio? I think it's that, fa it's like a sense of a family here. And I think, I mean, it's really high quality training. Mm -hmm. um, you guys are both professionals. Right, the okay. productions, um, all the teachers have been, are incredible that we have here. Mm -hmm. um, the productions are, again, high quality. Um, you want, it's not just, um, say, a, a recital, right? Mm -hmm. It's something, it's an actual show, an actual ballet that people from level, like, can come in. That was invested heavily in, in the very beginning, 25, 28 years ago now, Nutcracker. It's a huge investment for this organization, and it's still you can see that because it's a proper, like, professional level production, like the set and the costumes and things like that. It's not. And, just, and you're not doing that production out of the, the back of the garage. You're you're doing it hmm. in a theater at PCPA yeah. at the Poway Center for the Performing Arts. So it's an 800 seat theater, and we we practically you know almost fill three three shows of 800 seats, mm -hmm. and then four outreach shows for school kids and groups with special needs and uh, the elderly and so we do seven shows all together that we practically fill in the mm -hmm. auditorium so you know it's big. that's more than just family yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's so, a positive place yeah and that's the other thing and say it's also i think people love the fact that um you know the, a lot of the studios around here are competition studios which mm -hmm. is one aspect of dance and that's great but we are not that um we are um, there's competition as there is in any aspect of life, right? There's, there's, there's of course competition within the studio, but not actual competitions, and and it's a very positive place. There's um, people aren't, yeah, I don't know I don't how to explain it, more, it but it's but just a, a very positive and building environment mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. rather than. I mean, uh, so it's motivational. Yeah, yeah. very motivational for, for yeah. yeah. Some of your greatest challenges that you have in running the studio, I think keeping up, like we said, uh, about the surprises, the challenges are the same as the surprises. The keeping up, like, you know, to, as an example, like I said about the HR, like in the last few months we've learned that there's a new law in California that everybody has to do sexual harassment training. So that's, for an organization like ours, where we have almost 20 employees that have to do this training, um, and all those employees only work like two or three hours a week, some of them. So. You, know, you gotta squeeze them all into it. Like that. It's like a, it put these these laws and things like that, and all these rules that that uh, govern businesses are tough for a small organization. Like you know, and that's what I hear a lot from the business owners that I talk to. It's it's whether it be a restaurant, the water, an electric bill, or 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 government rules and taxes, and that that creates challenges for really for small business owners, especially for for um, untrained business owners, right? So like. You know, we are trained in our field of like dance and teaching, but we've come into this new and we're learning on the job mm -hmm. how to do all these things. So somebody says to me, "Oh, have you done this?" and I'm like, uh, "What's a W nine?" <laughs> you know, so it's kind of tough. On the job training. Yeah, exactly. On the job training. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> what is it that people don't know about you guys? I know you guys each have your own specific history. Maybe you want to share a little bit about it. Oh, about us personally. Uh, about you guys personally, because you're That's carrying that forward into into your work every day. That's a really tough question. I'm a big sci-fi fan. I don't know if it's got nothing to do with work, but nobody people. knows that about me, probably. And professionally, I love Star Trek. And and professional? Professionally, um, hmm. um, maybe you guys should talk for each other. Yeah, maybe <laughs> we should talk for each other. Professionally, I don't know. I think um, Toby comes across. Um, really as a relaxed person and he is a relaxed person but he's um, an extremely hard worker um, and I don't know if that all I'm sure people know that because of how he 
runs the studio and everything, but um, he's always been very determined from when he was a dancer, you know, getting up at the early hours to go to the gym before we even started that six to eight hour day, mm -hmm. and then cool it down in the evening. So he's um, I guess, yeah, a bit I get, obsessive. I like yeah, <laughs> he's a bit <laughs> obsessive. <laughs> and I'd say Muff is probably um, a perfectionist. Which probably doesn't go so well with, a, with a, an obsessive compulsive. I don't know. <laughs> there was lots of little kids running around from young ages, and you want to yeah, die a certain I way. Think that's probably a good thing that people. But I don't know if they don't know that because they can. I'm sure they can see that in the level of the shows and what we work with. It's not a great thing. <laughs> well, that's, that's okay. Um, memorable experiences that you guys have had throughout. I mean, throughout your careers, throughout you know running the studio um, as dancers like the memorable career the memorable things are always like um so uh, we were so lucky as dancers to have like um, and why don't you tell where where you've danced because so you we danced in northern ballet in england which is um uh, probably the third or fourth largest company in england and it's a touring company so it has a base but it tours around england mm -hmm. it's probably 160 170 shows a year, or it did at one point when we were there. Um, and we rose through the ranks. We got we got like to the top of that company, and we were really lucky to get the chance to create a lot of ballets from scratch with our artistic director who choreographed on us a lot. Mm -hmm. And that was probably the most memorable experience for me was creating those ballets, not necessarily even performing them, although that was an amazing thing as well. But the um, the process of like being in the studio and creating something was quite special, I think. Mm -hmm. And opening up shows yeah. on Sadler's Wells every year, um, something that you created on such a huge, huge scale was mm -hmm. really great. Yeah. We also got to meet the Queen. Oh, wow. Oh, that, that was, was memorable. That was memorable. <laughs> there that was you go. Kids. Royal family time. Um, uh -huh. Yeah. And, yeah so a, that was a big one, going to Buckingham Palace, meeting the Queen. Yeah, that was exciting. Really great. Exciting, exciting. Yeah. And the National Dance Awards, we. I was nominated a few times, and Martha won once for a National Dance Award in England. So that's, mm -hmm. that's that was a huge, that was a big. So you, you bring that into the studio. Yeah, and those experiences so. yeah, you, so. you you teach <laughs> to the kids and and know what it's like if they want to continue. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. I think here at SCB, memorable. I mean, I have a few memorable things. My first memorable one was probably the one that popped into my head was. So when I first, when we first arrived, we started a boys' class because I was here now, and mm -hmm. I was like, I figured I should start this boys' class. There's all the girls, lots of the girls have brothers, and they were interested, so we started it, and it was a huge success. It now has like, we split it into two classes because it got so big and out of control. So we split it into two, two levels, and um, I think probably one of my memorable experiences was last year, the first time we did the recital, the boys dancing mm -hmm. recital. <laughs> I did a Super Mario dance for them and watching them like, like it's tough with the boys because they have different personalities to sure, the girls. Sure, of course. And so the classes, I wasn't sure how well they were going all year and like they're kind of, I'm not going to say they're badly behaved, but they're not like focused like the girls. <laughs> so we got to the show and then they got on stage and they did the show and I was like, wow, that was so rewarding to see them up there. Like that was a real memorable thing for me, mm -hmm. I think. Um, memorable experiences. I the first, before we were here full time, we mm -hmm. came to do a ballet um, just for the spring show. It was just a short piece to um, um, Max Richter's Vivaldi Four Seasons, and it was just a like a neoclassical piece. And um, we made sure to make that the seniors all got like a little moment in that. Mm -hmm. um, and. Basically, and then I, we got a letter from one of the parents just saying that she would never forget that moment that she saw her senior out there on her own. Um, and the same girl also wrote a letter. Um, and I have a whole like, um, what's it called, a cork board Gosh. up in our, in our office of all the thank you cards, oh, yeah. which I just, that's all those memories where people are saying that they've been touched and that they've had this amazing time. That's, yeah, that's my memorable experience. <laughs> Best way for people to get in touch with you guys? Website. Website. SoCalBonnieBallet.org. Yep. If you can't remember that, SoCalBonnieBallet.org. Okay, and you guys are located in Carmel Mountain Ranch. So, uh, anything else you guys want to share? 
Come and see us. Come and see yeah. them. Come to the Nutcracker. Okay. Well, the tell, them, tell them, that, so you're going to start um, auditions, you said? Auditions um, are... In two weeks on Saturday, so what days is that? We just made the flyer, we should know that. 20, I think the 28th. 28th of September. Okay, very good. Yeah. Okay, well thank you thank both. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. This is Mark Schauder with Sotheby's International Realty with another episode of Powie Today.